Hey, welcome back and in today's video It's time That I tell you what I really think It's a, a series I haven't done a video on in a while, but It's always good to get things off your chest and I feel like today's a good day to do that We have so many new people here on the Ripzilla channel and I'm really proud of that because uh, a lot of people ask me uh, when making a YouTube channel, how do you know what content to come up with? And I'll tell you how I do it. I just make content that I want to make. I don't, I'm not looking for uh, what's gonna bring in the views, what's gonna make the most money, what's gonna, uh, that's not what I do. I, I see something or somebody brings me something and I make a video on it because it just feels like the the right thing to do. Um, I, I I will say that um, when I started making this channel, I didn't really know what direction that I was gonna go in. Um, when I was hit by the car, January first of twenty seventeen, my life was turned upside down. Things were different. It was hard for me to think like I used to because life is so fragile and I just wanted to do something and not give up on it. So I dedicated myself to doing YouTube. When I was in the, the real rehabilitation center, I had a friend go out and get me a pad of paper and a pen and I wrote down um, exactly what I wanted to do. And I wanted to do YouTube and I wanted to work more on music to super focus a lot so this year of solitude that I'm going to take to myself within the next chapter that's in my life I'm going to really uh, super focus on uh, music and uh, YouTube obviously because YouTube's a lot I really like anything to do with uh, microphones cameras and uh, things like that and that, it means a lot to me so I really want I haven't really worked more on music but I have been very dedicated to YouTube because when I got home February 26 2017 I made a video every single day, sometimes more than one, uh, for the next over a year. And even on days that I didn't upload, which was just during the holidays, and I was uh, I had a depression hit me really hard. I was still making videos. I just didn't upload them. I was putting them on social media. So that what I'm saying is, is I did a video. I have done a video every single day since February 26 of 2017 without fail. Uh, it's just something that I do it, it's I, I don't know how I do it uh, I will say that um, I have a lot of anxiety a lot of depression uh, the mental is conflicted lots and I'm telling anybody else that that's a normal thing but I just wanted to say hello to all the new people that's here I cannot believe um, when inside edition asked me to come on I was like, cool, yeah, we'll do that. It, it, was, it wasn't a big deal to me because it's like, that's the cause that I'm for. We're gonna spread awareness on the topics that truly matter. So I did it, didn't think about it, and moved to the next thing. That's how it is. Um, and then people in my family was like, oh my God, I saw you on YouTube. And people out was like, oh, I saw you on YouTube. And for the first time, people were acknowledging and they were like, hey, Wow, I can't believe I saw you. You know, I've been working hard on this for a, a long time. And then these people were coming out of the woodwork saying, wow, we're so proud of you. And it, w it was crazy to me because when I did it, I was like just doing a thing, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not in it for money. I'm not in it for gain or anything like that. I'm just doing uh, what feels right to me. And I think that's how you got to do something when you're, when you're really about it, when you're really doing the thing, it's like, uh, it's persistence and dedication. Because I make a video, I don't think about it because I'm focused on what comes next, the next video. And that's kind of how like I do my life, my, my legit how I live. Uh, we're in this moment right now and when the moment passes, don't be stuck in the old moment. You got to be in the new moment and just always like a like a film when the picture changes and it goes fast it makes life and you cannot be focused too much on the future you can't too, be too much focused on the past you have to be what's here what's now and 
I even Googled my name the other day for the first time because I don't Google Repsilla. I mean, people were telling me like, have you ever Googled your name? And I was like, there's not, was never a reason for me to Google my name. I don't, I, I'm, I'm working too much to stop and put my name in Google uh, to search anything up. And when I did, I was like, wow, it's like, I'm a search result. It's like crazy. Um, but even that's not, that doesn't impress me. I haven't done anything that truly impressed me until um, I did the uh, CBS Inside Edition segment. And I was like, okay, I'm a little bit proud of that. And what was really made me proud was the fact that my grandparents saw it and it was something that, you know, I saw a smile on their face. I was like, wow, you know, this is a thing. And uh, it's crazy how far when I, because I never stopped to really think about it, it's crazy how far I've actually came in just a short time. Because I know it takes some YouTubers years and years and years, and I've always been just such a dedicated individual. Uh, I feel like we've came so far so fast. And I mean, just February 26th of last year, and we're coming up on, uh, 30,000 subscribers and we're coming up on it fast and for the right causes it's like I'm not doing what everybody else is doing I'm not caring about what everybody else is caring about I'm doing my thing my own way I've built a brand out of it and uh, so speaking of that are you the black sheep of your family I know that I am this shirt right here is uh you can wear it at Christmas and Thanksgiving dinner. It, it's a black sheep because we are all different. And what better way to show that than to sit down with your family and be like, hey, hey, I'm the black sheep. The link in the description. <laughs> Don't forget about the coffee mug. Shameless plugs. You got to do it uh, sometimes. But um, I didn't do this channel by myself. Like, I cannot... I could not have came this far and I'm again I'm not that far I'm only at about to hit 30,000 but that's my end of year goal my end I said this for this year uh which I only counted from February 26 because that's when I first started February 26 to now there's only been like like maybe five and a half months less that's right Greg it's crazy and if you guys are new here Greg come here this is Greg Greg the cat. He has his own channel. He's my best friend. Been my best friend since 2012 is when we met. And uh, we're working on a series for him. It's going to come out six episodes. It's going to be really, really cool. So you guys be looking forward to that. There's a lot of new things that we're doing this year, ain't it, Greg? Is that right? There's a lot of new things that we're doing this year. You guys know I'm fixing to do a vlogging series that's never been done. It's I'm going to do paranormal investigations and urban legends, and we're just going to track things down. I'm going to start out locally and move my way across uh, the United States, and maybe if, it, if it's really good, we will go global. I don't know. Things are getting crazy, and that's right, crazy, Greg. And... Um, Man, I just don't know what's coming next. Oh, we also do live streams once a week. I got one coming up Sunday. Uh, that's a really good way for you guys to get to know me on a personal level. We do all kinds of cool things. Um, some of my sponsors, uh, let me see Let me see you in the comments section. I really just don't, it's hard for me to have words. I know, Greg, it's crazy, like... People, I tell people all the time, you can be a YouTuber, you can do it, you can do entertainment. And the thing is, is my true passion is public speaking. I want to be a motivational speaker. I want to travel and I want to help people. And I'm using YouTube as like a vehicle to get me where I want to be, you know. And it's grown so much. And the, the community, they told me that you could not cultivate a community. So many people said you couldn't cultivate a community uh, without having uh, some negative people in it. I think they're wrong because uh, our community, the Rep Squad, is one of the greatest and nicest communities out there. 
I've heard it time and time again. And not to mention that, but they also told me you can't keep up with the comments. Once you get uh, 20, past 15,000 subscribers, you're not going to be able to keep up with everyone. And though it got harder, I was able to do it. Um, it is a lot of work. And I haven't been so much in the comment section as I used to be because of the massive amount of comments that come through, but I still try to do that. Uh, Twitter messages are still open, but there's so many people that message me every day. It is hard for me to get to everyone, so don't take offense or anything like that. I'm doing my best, and we're just growing so fast. And again, I'm so happy for all you new people here. And if you're new, are you new here? If you're new, let me see you in the comment section because in this video right here, I'm going to read every single comment. I'm going to put a heart on every single comment. And I want to see some faces that I have never seen before. Because as interesting as this is, there's always something that's more interesting to me. That's right, you guessed it. I want to know what you think. So why don't you go ahead and leave your creative and or interesting responses in the comment box below. Thumbs up for those likes as always, brothers and sisters. I'll see you in the next video. Also, I'm going to put in the description below the video that when I was in rehab, when I couldn't walk, when I, my brain was fresh with the brain injury, I talked about what I wanted to do. I took a year of solitude, a year of solitude where I talked to no one, and I stayed directly on YouTube every single day. And I, I talked about that, and it's, it's really emotional that it actually worked out. Because you see these things now, and when you first started them, there wasn't nothing there. So you're literally creating something that you imagined up yourself. Um, anyways, yeah, get your Rep Squad mugs. It protects you from the Illuminati. Also, you black sheep, your family. Uh, all the links are in the description below. Also, the Discord. Join the Discord. We're on there a lot. Twitter. And uh, thanks again for subscribing. And if you are new here, definitely uh, reach out to me. I know that you're repping. If you're not repping, you're dragging. How do you become a member of the Red Squad? Well, all you get to do is subscribe with notifications turned on. Be in the comment section to every single video because I'm going to be there. Greg the Cat is going to be there. And the rest of the Red Squad community is going to be there as well. And I expect to see you there too because this channel loves you. Hey, Greg. Let's go get a biscuit. <laughs>